Hello, 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 everyone. Welcome to Mighty Mayhem. It's Tuesday. And Jasmine. Make sure you subscribe to our channel. Like this video. Comment below. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you're in the now. You ask for story time, we'll give you story time. Today's story time is going to be about my first mommy meltdown. Meltdown. <laughs> She had that. <laughs> I wish I had somebody to go to when I was melting down. Well, I am grateful <laughs> that I was able to go to you. So my first mommy meltdown took place the day I got home from the hospital. And it was a huge meltdown. <laughs> my son was having trouble latching. And the whole time we were in the hospital, we were trying to get him to latch. But we kept having to... Um, supplement with the bottle and I was like pumping in the hospital and Jasmine even Jasmine and Rosie came and brought milk because they were trying to give him formula and so they both bought milk um, to for him to drink until we could get this latching situation together so <laughs> which I'm very grateful thank you guys so when we get home though I'm thinking I'm okay. They've given me a nipple shield. So I'm like, oh, good. I can take over the world. I have this nipple shield. It was working in the hospital. I get home and he Let is me like. Let just say, don't shit work when you get home. <laughs> no. Everything is like, when you're in the hospital, everything is all blissful. And then when you get home and it's like, don't, do Yeah, like the lactation <laughs> consultant is there and you're like, oh, wow, he's drinking. The lactation consultant can pop that boob in and he's drinking you get home no way like you get home it's when so i got funny. home the baby was like what is this the nipple shield was a no-go he was not for it so I, and then my milk came in so my milk came in that morning and i woke up and my breasts were so engorged they were almost to my chin oh. and so yes and so <laughs> I was like, okay, this boy has got to eat, but he was not eating. And so I had no experience with pumping. I had no experience with any of that. I was just trying to get him to latch, 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 latch. So I called Jasmine and I said, Jasmine, can you please come over here? Because he's oh, not wife. eating. <laughs> yeah, he's not eating. I don't know what to do. I can't feed him. I feel like I'm not a good mother. Like, what is wrong with me? So like, oh, she's like, God. I'm coming. <laughs> so, I, so I was sitting there and I'm like, I'm going to just get in the shower because I'm still super engorged. So I'm like, I'm going to just get in the shower. I got in the shower and I had a full meltdown, full breakdown. I got out the shower I put on those little, those little shorts. The that, little mesh drawers. The mesh shorts <laughs> that they give you at the hospital with the really long pad. And I had on my bra and, <laughs> and I heard Jasmine's voice and I just busted out the, the, the bathroom, bathroom in that. That's all I had on. And I said, look, this is just what I have on and I'm sorry, but this is just the way I feel right now. I just can't do anything about it. And Jasmine started cracking up like, girl. Give Come me that in here baby. And sit down <laughs> and let's get this together. So literally, I was sitting there in those mesh shorts, and Jasmine was like, "Okay, let's get the first of all. Let's talk about pumping because if he's not eating, if he's not latching, then you still can pump and feed him from and the wait, bottle. Rewind <laughs> because the baby is screaming. She's crying. Yeah, baby screaming. Baby, he's crying. not latching." You know, he hungry, so I'm like, do you mind? She like, I don't mind, I just want him to yeah, be Yeah, because I'm like, what? something is wrong with him, because they were saying, oh, the, the tongue tie, tongue tie. You know, they always try to diagnose your baby with tongue tie. So, I said, oh, yeah, they said he might have a tongue tie, and that's why he's not eating that. And Jasmine was like, well, do you want me to see if he'll latch onto me? And I'm like, yeah, whatever, like, just feed him, because he's so not eating it, <laughs> and I don't want him to starve, and da da so Jasmine latched him on, and she's like, "He's latching fine," and he was eating like he he Had was eating like he ate it. since day one. <laughs> and it so I was like, in "Okay, a coma." Yeah, he, he was, was sleeping, <laughs> and I was like, "Okay, so it's not a tongue tie. He does not have problems latching. So cool, but he's having problems latching on me." So. Jasmine literally put together my whole pumping station. It was like out of a movie because <laughs> the baby calmed down and I calmed down. We were both in hysterics. <laughs> and the whole time, Tracy's like, 
you got this, babe. Like, he don't know what to say. He's like, you got this, babe. Don't worry. He was worry. there, though. Yeah, he was there, but he had <laughs> nothing to contribute other than, you got this, babe. Don't worry. And I'm like, okay, thank you. I just, I just, I'm not a good mom because I can't feed him and I don't know what to do. I don't want to give him formula because they pushing the formula. I don't want to give him formula, but he got to eat. So it was like a light bulb went off when Jasmine set the whole pump station up. I had already gotten my electric pump for my insurance. And so she set me up with that and my hand pump and taught me how to do it. Literally, her calmness calmed me down and I was able to even receive the information because <laughs> I was tired. I was feeling weird all over and the baby was crying and it was just way too much. And I totally like that mommy meltdown was for the books. Like that was crazy. And Jasmine was there and she was able to help me through it because I don't know what I would have done otherwise. And then I started feeling so empowered knowing that I could still feed my baby even though he's not latching and I can still feed him through this journey because we're both learning and, you know, we're both going to get better. And of course, like the encouraging words from people like Jasmine and Rosie and my mom and people that was like, look, he's new. He's never eaten f from his mouth ever before. He's Only been fed through time. the, yeah, he's mm -hmm. been fed through his umbilical cord. It takes time. Sometimes, like the doctor says, sometimes their jaws aren't even all the way developed. He doesn't know the wider he opens, the more milk he gets. Like, he doesn't know any of that. So, it's a learning experience for both of us. And I'm going to do another video just about the ins and outs of that and, like, trouble latching and how you can do if you want to be an exclusive pumping mama um, and stuff like that. So, I'll do another video on that, but... This was just about the complete meltdown. And that let I me had. just tell you, after all this meltdown and she started pumping, now I'm pissed because she makes more milk than I do. Ah, uh, yeah. I'm, I'm an overproducer. I'm 11 months in and can only pump two to three ounces at a time. And here she go with nine ounces. But here I am 14. saving 14 <laughs> ounces. <laughs> but I'm trying to help her save today. <laughs> yeah. Well, that. That explains why my boobs were to my chin. It was a lot of milk in and there. And she still and hasn't coming. learned her lesson to yeah. pump. Pump, pump, yeah. pump. Yeah. I'll, I'll also do another video on the mastocytis that I got from not pumping and not clearing my breast. So, yeah. It has been a journey for real. But that was a really big meltdown. And now, looking back, I can laugh. Because, haha, ha, it's funny. But <laughs> in the moment... It was like nothing else. Tracy was like, he's zombie mode too because we've both been up for three days. He's Man. zombie mode too. So Jasmine came in with her calm, cool, collected self and really helped me to learn how to pump. And the baby was happy because he was eating, eating, eating. And I was and happy. let's uh, give T3 a round of applause. Yes. He has perfected his latch. He has perfected his latch. He really has. And we have no problems at all. He gets now, that milk in now. Yes. That boy can eat. Yes. <laughs> yes. So we're going to give him an applause. We're going to give Jasmine an applause. And we're going to give me an applause oh, yes. just for... <laughs> well, because... <laughs> I was a little unraveled. But for patience, you have to have patience. That a is baby the will teach key you that. In baby, breastfeeding. Yeah. Yes. If you don't have support, patience, and just man, and just the just to want to do it. Mm -hmm. You're not going to get through it. I'm sorry. Yeah. It's just that simple. Yeah. And even with your exclusively pumping mamas like that it's it it almost felt like slavery to me because I was having to pump eight to ten times a day and then in between those times still try to get him to latch and of course it wasn't working for a while but that's a lot of having to sit and down. Her boobs were so sore. Yes. Oh my gosh. She because... was afraid of nipple confusion. Just yes. All these things. All these things and we'll talk about them because I have like videos galore on that just because yeah they can get nipple confusion 
I was like almost raw from trying to get him to latch because he was a chomper. So he didn't know like not to bite mommy and he was biting me and he was like we tearing know me. Yeah, <laughs> he was tearing me up. And then on top of that, I'm like stressing my boobs out, trying to pump. And then I'm having, I'm like confined to this little seat because I hadn't gotten like my really good pump yet. So I had to plug in and sit down for that for that long, you know, every day. It's a lot. It's really a lot. And so you do need the support. I mean, somebody got to wash your pump parts for you. Somebody <laughs> has to do something. Somebody got to wash the dishes. Teach her how to store milk. Yes. And everything. Yes. Jasmine came by and helped me to figure out how to store the milk properly. So, um, yeah, but that was my first meltdown and that was my story time. So the stay first tuned. Of many. Yeah, first of many cuz I think I've had like 3 since then. We can talk about those too if you want. Comment below if you want to hear the, about those. So anyway, guys, that's all. Thanks for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you comment below. Make sure you tell us if you want to hear more story time. Yeah. Have a good one until next time. <laughs>